Aloha. Let's give a warm uh, applause to Kaiolani Kanihailua for the opening of the. I'm going to try to figure out where I need to be with this microphone. That looks good. I'm going to put on these glasses <laughs> and get started. Interim Chancellor Lassner, Regents, distinguished and honored guests, colleagues, and friends, aloha. I'm John Osorio, Interim Dean of the Hawaii Nuiakea School of Hawaiian Knowledge, and welcome to the 2017 UH Manoa Awards Ceremony, celebrating the dedication, service, and leadership of our outstanding faculty, staff, and students committed to enhancing the university's mission of excellence. This time, we are pleased and honored to recognize several special guests and distinguished members of our local and university communities who are here today. Please stand as your name is called. An audience, please hold your applause until the end. Joining us on stage, we have UH Manoa Interim Chancellor David Lassner and Randy Moore, Vice Chair of the Board of Regents. Don't listen to me. Go ahead. That's all right, because they didn't stand, so <laughs> you felt like you could do whatever you wish. And in our audience, all right, we have our Board of Regent members, Regent Brandon Mar Mark Higa, Regent Lee Putnam, please stand and be recognized. Regent Michelle Tagorda, Regent Stanford Ewan, Risa Dixon, UH Vice President for Academic Planning and Pol Policy, and Michael Bruno, UH Manoa Vice Chancellor for Research and Interim Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, and Lori Idetta, UH Manoa Interim Vice Chancellor for Students. Thank you all for your leadership and for being here today. We'd also like to recognize the hardworking selection committees who had the difficult task of selecting today's outstanding recipients. The Robert W. Clopton Award Committee, the Manoa Career Center, UH Manoa Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Service Committee, UH Manoa Commission on Inclusivity and Diversity, UH Manoa Council of Academic Advisors, UH Manoa Excellence in Teaching Awards Committee, UH Manoa Graduate Council, UH Manoa Office of the Vice Chancellor for Research, and the UH Office of the Vice President for Research and Innovation. Mahalo for your dedication and commitment. Thank you. Before we move forward with the program, I'd like to read some special congratulatory messages. The first one is from Governor David Ige and Lieutenant Governor Shan Tsutsui. On behalf of the people of the state of Hawaii, we congratulate each of you for being a 2017 University of Hawaii at Manoa Award recipient. As we continue to seek new and innovative ways to perform our work and find creative solutions to the critical issues facing our state, it is each of you who represents what is possible. Your potential is limitless, and your values reflect your commitment to our island home. It is with great honor that we commend you for your dedication and commitment to enhancing UH Manoa's mission of excellence in teaching, research, and service. More importantly, we are proud that you also serve as outstanding role models in the university community and continue to inspire others as you lead by example. We encourage you to continue your exemplary contributions that make the University of Hawaii at Manoa a world-class institution that our students, alumni, faculty, and staff can all be proud of. Congratulations on your well-earned recognition for your accomplishments and best wishes as you continue your future endeavors. Next, I'll read a message from U.S. Senator Brian Schatz. 
I extend my warmest greetings of aloha and congratulations to the honorees at the 2017 University of Hawaii at Manoa Awards Ceremony. Each year, the University of Hawaii at Manoa pays tribute to the distinguished faculty, staff, and students whose contributions have been instrumental to this institution. To the honorees, this award highlights your outstanding leadership in teaching, advising, mentoring, conducting research, and serving the community. Through your efforts, you have shown a strong dedication to the success of your students, programs, departments, and the university as a whole. Mahalo for your commitment to education. Your work ensures that UH Manoa continues to have a measurable impact on not only the thousands of students it serves, but also our local community as a whole. Congratulations and best wishes. Mahalo Governor Ige, Lieutenant Governor Sutsui, and Senator Schatz. Our sign language interpreter today is Robin Thompson. You should really clap because I'm going to ad lib a lot here. <laughs> Today's ceremony is being web webcast on the UH Manoa website and will also be posted for future viewing. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Board of Regents Vice Chair Randy Moore. Thank you, Dean Osorio. Good afternoon to all and welcome to all. It's always a pleasure to come to this ceremony. And I'd like, I, I noted one more regent uh, who slithered in too late to get his name on the list, Regent uh, Michael McInerney. Mike, if you'd stand up and just wave your arm. Thank you, thank you for coming. Graduation is in 12 days. And graduation is the culmination of the university experience for many students, undergraduate and uh, graduate as well. Uh, but the graduation for them, their university experience would not be the same without the dedication of the kind of the folks that are in the room today. Universities are, are about the discovery and dissemination of knowledge. And we have wonderful practitioners of both arts represented here today. Uh, in addition to those who research and teach and that includes students as well as faculty. Uh, we have some support uh, people that we would like to recognize today uh, who do the back of the office work that makes the university move the way it moves. So thanks, uh, thanks to you as well. And uh, we also have somebody who's recognized for their contribution to the community. It's really part of the dis dissemination of knowledge, but uh, going beyond the university campus to positively impact the, the uh, community. Uh, all of you have contributed, and fortunately, and without uh, reducing at all your contributions, you are representative of a larger group, a larger community of scholars, uh, researchers, teachers, uh, who make this university the outstanding institution that it is. I thank you for your service. I look forward to many more years of it. Mahalo. Mahalo, Regent Moore. I would like, now like to introduce UH Manoa Interim Chancellor, David Lassner. Nice to see you. Uh, thank you, John. Um, aloha and uh, welcome to our 2,217? Our 2,017 Manoa Award Ceremony. Um, it's also lay day, so congratulations to all of you. We can recognize the award recipients for the, the lay they are wearing today um, in recognition of, of what you've done. Um, these are the best of our best being recognized this year, the talented individuals who have done so much to advance teaching, to advance research, to support our students, and to advance the community. And indeed, as uh, Vice Chair Moore said, uh, they set an example for all of us within the institution and for those who will follow, um, who, who aspire to profession, professions in the academy, advancing all that we do here. I just want to read a couple of comments from 
the nomination. So how, how about a round of applause for the nominators? Maybe all, if you would all stand up also. <laughs> nominators, I know you're here. Congratulations on your creative right? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is, um, you know, most of these people would never think to nominate themselves for these awards. That's one of the hallmarks of excellence in many cases. And so I thank you all for um, reaching out and, and there are no prizes for the nominators. Um, <laughs> so one student who nominated his uh, professor by saying, He's a once in a generation mentor, professor, and teacher, inspiring the next generation of engineers and leaders. Here's another one. Her teaching methods allowed me to discover answers on my own, which really gave me the confidence I needed to do the work. He is inspirational, engaging, empowering, and challenging to his students. Because of him, I am steadfast in becoming an agent for change in the Lahui. And finally, one of our honorees is a PhD candidate whose research is on the properties of brown dwarfs. You can catch up on this after the ceremony. Those faint gaseous bodies with masses in between planets and stars. And this student's work is yielding new insights about how and when nearby brown dwarfs are formed and how they change over time. Um, wow, so these are outstanding teachers and people who, as Vice Chair Moore said, are at the forefront of uh, the understanding of the world around us and the universe around us as well. Um, we thank you all for your work to um, advance, not just the university, more importantly, our students, uh, your colleagues, our community, your disciplines, and in fact, the whole world around us um, is better because of the work you're doing. So it, it's a small thing to honor you uh, today. And, and I know that for all of you, you are also inspired by your colleagues, your students, your nominators, of course, and um, the others around you who have, who have really inspired you in turn to make the contributions you've made and um, achieve the excellence uh, that has brought you here today. So uh, thank you very much. Um, I know many of you are also grateful to your family members and friends who have helped get you here. More of that at graduation, as you know. Um, but I do want to thank you all for coming to help honor um, our awardees for this year. Um, it's, a, it's a statement of your recognition of the importance of our together recognizing and honoring excellence throughout our institution. Um, and to the honorees, enjoy your well-deserved recognition, uh, the medal, the certificate, the small award that comes with it, and um, take this day to bask in your glory. Mahalo. <laughs>the awards that we pre presented today represent our commitment to the University of Hawaii at Manoa's excellence in teaching, leadership, and research. And I'd like to invite Interim Chancellor Lassner and Regent Vice Chair Moore to present the awards. Our first awards are the Board of Regents Medal for Excellence in Teaching. These awards honor faculty members who exhibit an extraordinary level of subject mastery and scholarship, teaching effectiveness and creativity, and personal values that benefit students. The recipients are Albert S. Kim, Associate Professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering in the College of Engineering. Albert makes the complex field of engineering accessible and fun, creating a sense of community and belonging in the classroom. He is described by students as a once-in-a-generation mentor, <laughs> professor, and teacher, inspiring the next generation of engineers and leaders. Albert Kim. <laughs> Kenneth L. Lawson. Associate Faculty Specialist in the William S. Richardson School of Law. Kenneth brings what his colleagues described as extraordinary gifts in strength of character, 
directly into the classroom. He is credited for transforming the Hawaii Innocence Project into a place law students regard as a teaching law firm with exceptionally high standards. <laughs> Kenneth Lawson. Winona K. Lee, Assistant Professor in the Department of Native Hawaiian Health in the John A. Burns School of Medicine, teaching in the Imi Ho'ola program with students from disadvantaged backgrounds. Winona applies adaptive practices, tailoring instruction and curricula to meet students' individual learning. Every year, she provides her students an exceptional service learning project by traveling to Kalaupapa, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that impacts deeply on their future professional work. Winona Lee. <laughs> Michelle A. Menes, Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics in the College of Natural Sciences. Michelle feels strongly that her students gain confidence in their mathematical abilities through animated, engaging problems rather than skill drills. She inspires and assists graduate students who describe her as having an immense impact on their careers as they journey on their paths of becoming educators. Michelle Maynes. Tara B. O'Neill, Associate Professor in the Department of Curriculum Studies in the College of Education. Tara has a teaching philosophy rooted in equity and social justice that has become fortified through her work with teachers, educational partnerships with the Polynesian Voyaging Society, and in representing the college as a crew member on leg nine of Hokulea Worldwide Voyage. Her approaches inspire students and colleagues alike. Tara O'Neill. Scott C. Sinnett, Associate Professor in the Department of Psychology in the College of Social Sciences. Scott is known for his rigor in teaching some of the more difficult courses in cognitive science and memory. Described as being easy to approach and supportive of student learning, he is known for delivering exemplary lectures, expanding his pedagogical methods to visual demonstrations that are mindful and diverse. Scott Sinnott. <laughs> Congratulations to all the recipients of the Board of Regents Medals for Excellence in Teaching. The creation of new knowledge in research is as important as teaching. The Regents Medal for Excellence in Research recognizes faculty members whose scholarly contributions expand the boundaries of knowledge and enrich the lives of students and the community. The honorees are Christoph Baranek, Assistant Astronomer in the Institute for Astronomy. Christoph designs, builds, and uses adaptive optics systems, instruments that overcome the blurring effects of the Earth's atmosphere. He won an Alfred P. Sloan Research Fellowship for leading the development of the world's first automated adaptive optic system, RoboAO. He currently leads the efforts to deploy an upgraded version of RoboAO to the UH 2.2 meter telescope which will achieve resolutions approaching the Hubble Space Telescope. Christoph Baronet. James Dean Brown, professor in the Department of Second Language Studies in the College of Languages, Linguistics, and Literature. JD has made contributions to the field of applied linguistics in the areas of language testing, language curriculum design, language research methods, and teaching of connected speech. He trained hundreds of graduate students and served on 44, 44 doctoral committees. This Fulbright Senior Scholar has earned the prestigious 
Duke of Edinburgh Award, the International Language Testing Association Samuel Messick Award, and the College's Excellence in Scholarship and Research Award. James Dean Brown. <laughs> Jeffrey R. Kuhn. Ast astronomer with the Institute of Astronomy. Jeffrey is recognized for improving our understanding of the global properties of the sun. On Haleakala, he built a telescope that measures the weak magnetism of the sun's outer atmosphere, which will revolutionize our understanding of the inconstant sun's effect on the Earth. He currently works on optical concepts that may someday enable large, next generation instruments to de detect, detect signatures of life on nearby exoplanets. Jeffrey Kuhn. <laughs> Congratulations to our recipients of the Board of Regents Medals for Excellence in Research. The Francis Davis Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching recognizes dedication and demonstrated excellence as teachers of undergraduate students for a faculty and graduate's assistant. This award was established as a memorial to the late Francis Davis, who taught mathematics at Leeward Community College and UH Manoa for 19 years. Our faculty recipient is Denise Nelson Hurwitz. Assistant Professor in the Office of Public Health Studies in the Myron B. Thompson School of Social Work. <laughs> Denise seeks innovative approaches that allows her students to experience their education through evidence-based student engagement and team-based experiential learning techniques. She is credited with the development of the newly instituted undergraduate health program in 2014 and the capstone series in which students present quality projects on community-based service learning and research, a model for which, other, for which other universities seek to replicate. A model which other universities seek to replicate. Denise Nelson Hurwitz. We have two graduate assistant awardees this year. Our first graduate assistant recipient is Niall S. Kauveloa, Kauveloa a, a graduate assistant in the School of Communications and the School of Social Sciences. Niall enjoys challenging students to think about how technologies will shape the future. Students who have taken his course describe him as open, caring, and inquisitive while being intellectually provocative and imaginative. Colleagues highlight his ability to marry diverse topics in the field of information and communication technologies to everyday concerns related to privacy, security, and digital surveillance. Our second graduate, our second grad, no, Niall Kavila. They have to be really specific with me. I'm sorry. Um, Niall, thank you very much. Our second graduate assistant is Mark A.J. Wilding, a graduate assistant in the Department of Second Language Studies in the College of Languages, Linguistics, and Literature. Mark is unable to be here today, but accepting the, the award on his behalf is Graham Crooks, uh, Department Chair of Second Language Studies. <laughs> Mark's achievement as a teacher stemmed from his passion for language learning, a genuine empathy for his students and a vocation for helping others learn in a fun and Ohana-like environment. His department chair shared, we are not sure if he's fluent in as many as 12, but he certainly spends time practicing, practicing and extending his command of more languages than there are professors in the department. <laughs> Mark A.J. Wilding, thank you, Graham Cooks. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna. The Robert W. Clopton Award for Distinguished Service to the Community recognizes a faculty member for playing a socially significant role by applying intellectual leadership and academic expertise 
to the development of the community. The award was established as a memorial to longtime Manoa College of Education professor Robert Clopton. The first award was pre presented in 1977. This year's winner is James H. Peach, professor and chair in the William S. <laughs> I'm sorry. Show, I keep, I, I'll keep going. <laughs> this year's winner is James H. Peach, professor and chair in the William S. Richardson School of Law. Known as Mr. Elder Law, James' work is focused on Hawaii's elderly and disabled, disenfranchised, abused, and socially and economically needy residents. Committed to building programs and partnerships with a national and global reach, he also helped to establish a rule of law complex for the safety of all involved in trial under Iraqi law and the first legal aid clinic for de detainees. Graduates, graduates view him as a unique member of the university, epitomizing a lifelong commitment to the community by a university professor, James H. Peach. Congratulations, James. The University of Hawaii at Manoa Chancellor's Citation for Meritorious Teaching recognizes faculty members who have made significant contributions to teaching and student learning. This year's awards go to Michael Chiang, Associate Professor in the Department of Family and Cons Consumer Sciences in the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. Michael's teaching is grounded in learning theories and aligned with research on best practices across the nation. Said one of his colleagues, he is an example of a Renaissance professor making a difference in the lives of our students, conducting research and scholarship that matters, and contributing to improving the life, the quality of life for most, our most vulnerable citizens. Michael Chang. Gretchen Gavaro, Assistant Professor in the Department of Psychiatry in the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Gretchen spearheaded a transformation of the residency training curriculum from primarily lecture-based to problem-based learning for advanced learners, designed sessions for medical students at different phases of development, and has led the exponential growth of psychiatry as a specialty above national averages. Her efforts have improved the experience of students, faculty, staff, and residents. Gretchen Gravaro. <laughs> Jennifer Griswold, Assistant Professor in Department of Atmospheric Science in the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology. Jennifer is recognized by her students as a remarkable professor and advisor whose influence draws students from disciplines outside of science to study the atmosphere. She developed two new courses in the atmospheric sciences, one that merges weather and climate information from the cultures of the Pacific Islands, and another that taught satellite data acquisition and analysis techniques. Jennifer Griswold. Daniel E. Harris McCoy, Assistant Professor in the Department of Languages and Literatures of Europe and the Americas in the College of Languages, Linguistics, and Literature. Through his own unique, lively response in each course he teaches, Daniel's students are immersed in the language and culture of the ancients. Among the diverse devices in his pedagogical Portfolio include the practice of calligraphy to enhance manuscript writing and textual transmissions and production of comic book versions of various mythic stories. Daniel Harris McCoy. Scott Kekueva T. Kikiloi, Assistant Professor in the Kamakaku Okalani Center for Hawaiian Studies in the Hawaii Nuiake School of Hawaiian Knowledge. Kekueva draws from many schools of thought, from ancient, sacred, contemporary, and disciplinary canons to engage students in critical teaching and learning in Hawaiian studies. He uses service learning, community engagement, 
and in internships with sponsor organizations to provide students with experience-based and contextualized learning environments. He continues to develop courses with hybrid potential, such as the Hawaiian archaeology, archaeology field courses. Scott Kikiloi. Vickery K. Lebon, Librarian 5 in the Department of Business, Humanities, and Social Sciences in UH Library Services. Vickery has built a successful program within the library to serve undergraduate and graduate students in a range of disciplines and plays a direct and critical role in educating and influencing hundreds of students every year. Her colleagues speak of her reputation for building the finest undergraduate library instruction program in the state of Hawaii. Vickery Levin. Our congratulations to our awardees at the University of Hawaii at Manoa Chancellor's Citation for Meritorious Teaching. The UH Manoa Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Service recognizes four staff members, a building and grounds maintenance employee, a civil service employee, an administrative professional and technical employee, and a faculty specialist employee. These individuals demonstrate outstanding work performance, service, and leadership. The Buildings and Grounds Maintenance Award goes to Taesong Ku a tree trimmer for the entire Manoa campus, including the Wa'ahila area, the Institute for Astronomy, UH Press, and the Magoon Research Facility. That's impressive. <laughs> a 21-year employee, a 21-year employee of UH Manoa, Taisang, ensures campus safety and provides tree assessment reports to improve maintenance and to prevent catastrophic tree, tra catastrophic tree failure. He manages the campus's unique collection of more than 5,000 trees and was instrumental in the department achieving the Tree Campus USA Award from the Arbor Day Foundation. He also played a significant role in Manoa being named an accredited, accredited arboretum by the Morton Arboretum ArbNet. Taesong Ku. The Civil Service Award goes to Lori L. S. Onizuka, Secretary Two in the Department of Political Science in the College of Social Sciences. Since 2007, Lori has provided support for her department, which includes 21 full-time faculty members, nearly 350 students, nine teaching assistants, and six to 12 lecturers each semester. She took on additional duties when another position could not be filled and kept the office running efficiently <coughs> while maintaining a cheerful demeanor. <laughs> Her nominator notes that Lori makes it possible for the department to meet its objectives and commends her many talents and qualities. Lori Onizuka. <laughs> Political science, they're, they're used to getting up and, and, <laughs> and proclaiming things publicly. The APT award goes to Trent Y. Hata. Academic Support with the Hawaii County Plant and Environmental Protection Sciences in the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. A 30-year employee of the university, Trent oversees the operations of eight experiment stations, three office complexes, and more than 50 vehicles and farm equipment. He was instrumental in the relocation of three facilities and oversaw the $19.7 million re renovations of the Komohana Research and Extension Center. He is also known for his research, authoring more than 78 publications on Hawaii's export floriculture industry. Trent Hata.
The Faculty Specialist Award goes to Allison Tanoy, Director and Specialist with the Student Affairs Counseling and Student Development Center. For 20 years, Allison has provided on-campus support services to students ranging from career counseling, support of distressed students, and delivery of mental health services. She developed and maintains the nationally accredited doctoral psychology internship program and continues to grow the counselor in residence program. Under her leadership, the center has increased its staff, resulting in more access to services. Her colleagues say that Allison's experience, expertise, and work literally saves lives. Allison Tanoy. Congratulations to the recipients of the UH Manoa Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Service. The Faculty Diversity Enhancement Award was established by the Commission on Inclusion and Diversity and recognizes a faculty member who has demonstrated an ongoing commitment to enhancing diversity. This year's recipient is Barbara C. Bruno, faculty specialist with the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology in the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology. Barbara has served in a variety of roles, including the co-creation of the minority-focused scholars program that provide cutting-edge research and educational opportunities to students. As co-principal investig investigator of Ikevai, she obtained a $20 million National Science Foundation grant to secure Hawaii's water future. She is the project director and co-founder of the school's Miley Mentoring Bridge programs that inspire Native Hawaiian, Kama'aina, and individuals of underrepresented ethnicities to pursue ocean, earth, and environmental science professions. Barbara Bruno. Congratulations, Barbara. The Peter V. Garrod Distinguished Graduate Mentoring Award was established by the Graduate Division in 2005 and allows graduate students to nominate faculty for excellent mentoring, one of the foundations of outstanding graduate education. The recipient of this award is John Paul Bingham, Assistant Professor in the Department of Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering in the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. When he first joined the department in 2007, John Paul led a charge to redesign the biochemistry core teaching in an effort to provide professional development courses for graduate students. His dedication to students earned him the reputation as a get-the-job-done professor. Having graduated more than 30 graduate research students, he now serves as departmental graduate chair, enhancing one of UH Manoa's largest graduate programs. John Paul Bingham. And now our Outstanding Academic Advisor and Advising Unit of the Year Awards. The Council of Academic Advisors Pakele, Pakela Award and the Oikela Award are given to an outstanding individual academic advisor and an outstanding advising unit for their demonstrated excellence and or innovation in advising and has made a significant contribution to the advising community. The Pakela Award goes to Garrett D. O'Clennan, academic advisor with Student Athlete Academic Services. Garrett is the Garrett is the primary liaison for a web-based system designed to increase student engagement, improve communication, and identify at-risk students for early intervention. Additionally, he serves as a liaison to the Athletics Compliance Department and advising units across campus regarding NCAA academic eligibility and certification. Garrett is described by colleagues as having an excellent rapport and is an invaluable resource for students and colleagues alike. Congratulations, Garrett. <laughs> the 
The Oikela Outstanding Academic Advising Unit Award goes to the team at the Advising Center for the College of Arts and Humanities and Language, Languages, Linguistics, and Literature, led by Ruth O. Bingham. Director and she's the director and associate specialist. Her team includes K. S. Hamada, Nanette C. Miles, Craig D. Mitchell, Julie G. Terlaje, Carolina Asiat Asiatico, David C. M. Yale, and Heather Young. Kay and Carolina could not be here, but the rest of the team join us today. The creation of tiered access to advising and the coordinated efforts of the team has improved student access to advising and alleviated long wait lines. Working collaboratively, they created new academic programs designed to help students stay focused and on track. They have developed and implemented new and innovative methods to improve its services and to provide students with the support they need to be successful. We want to say congratulations to this year's Oikela Outstanding Academic Advising Unit Award. The Student Excellence in Research Award is awarded by the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Research in recognition of outstanding scholarly research endeavors by students while they pursue a degree at the doctoral, master's, or bachelor's level. The recipients are Mapuana Antonio, a graduate student in the doctoral level in the Department of Public Health Studies in the Office of Public Health Studies. Mapuana's research explores associations between stress, coping, obesity, diabetes, and general health among native Hawaiians, especially those residing on Hawaiian homelands. Her dissertation validated a tool to measure resilience among native Hawaiians and demonstrated a significant relationship between resilience and health. Her publications catalog public health programs addressing mental and physical health of indigenous adolescents and explore associations between perceived racism, obesity, and overall health. Mapuana Antonio. Our second recipient is William M. Best, a graduate student at the doctoral level at the Institute for Astronomy. William studies the properties of brown dwarfs, faint gaseous bodies with masses in between planets and stars that reside, reside in our neighborhood of the galaxy using ground-based telescopes like the Pan Stars. His dissertation work is yielding new insights about how and when nearby brown dwarfs formed and how they change over time. William was recognized as the 2017 Advancing Scholar Science in America Scholar in Astronomy. William Best. <laughs> Our last recipient is Glenn M. Chu, a doctoral student in the Department of Tropical Medicine, Medical Microbiology, and Pharmacology in the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Glenn's research focuses on understanding mechanisms driving immune dysfunction during chronic viral infections. As a PhD candidate, he has published a first authored, peer-reviewed scientific manuscript on his research and also contributed to nine co-authored publications. He received the 2016 Koenig Award in Medicine from the ARCS Foundation Honolulu Chapter and the 2015 and 2016 Biomedical Research Scholarships for his work. Glenn Chu. <laughs> Congratulations to our student researchers.
And now our Student Employee Awards. The Cooperative Education Student of the Year Award is given out by the Manoa Career Center. Integrating classroom study with planned and supervised work, the award recognizes an outstanding cooperative education student who has made significant contributions in their co-op placements, campus, and community. The recipient of this award is Melissa Henry, a senior in nursing and a co-op student at the Straub Hospital Emergency Department. Melissa's commitment to her co-op is evident by her high quality work, as noted by her supervisor who described her as an avid learner. In the last few months of her co-op, Melissa worked her way up to coordinating care for two to three patients while maintaining a calm demeanor and the building a respectful rapport with, student, with patients and their families. Melissa Henry. Our final award this afternoon, the Student Employee of the Year Award was created in 1986 by the Manoa Career Center and recognizes the achievements and contributions of student employees at UH Manoa. This year's award was given to Tyler Lum, a junior in biology and program assistant with the Hanauma Bay Education Program with the Sea Grant College Program. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler combines the knowledge he gained through the marine biology program with education and outreach activities uh, towards the nearly 800,000 visitors annually at the Nature Preserve. In addition to working with the 120 community volunteer do docents, he provides training through an ed education-based orientation, lectures on the geology of Hanauma Bay, and assists with their comprehensive fish biology training. He has grown professionally and personally while in this position. Thank you, Tyler Lowe. There are no more awards to be given. <laughs> this concludes our award ceremony. We are proud of the achievements of each of our awardees. Please join me in another round of applause. On behalf of Interim Chancellor Lassner, thank you for joining us today to honor the dedication, excellence, and service of our faculty, staff, and student award recipients. We bid you aloha. <laughs>